Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode of Jack of All Trades. I've got a pool solution for you here today. So, uh, woke up this morning, the pool pump was not running. Uh, that's very common for this house whenever the power has gone out. The power was out last night for about two hours. And so, uh, whenever that happens, sometimes it could just be that your timer is off. Sometimes it could also be that maybe your timer is jammed, okay? And so for my case, the timer is jammed, and I'm just gonna show you real quick how to unjam that, that timer and what you need to know in order to do this, okay? So here's the timer. Very standard timer. Uh, this right here will show you, you know, what time of the day it is, and you're supposed to line this up with the time. Then you have the on and the off switches that turn this uh this switch right here to turn it on and off okay so first thing you need to do is ver first verify you have power okay so that's really easily done by either having like a, a non-contact uh tester like this and you can hear it beep or you know it's just pretty simple just to kick it on and off okay so we can see that we have power okay so the the timer's not working itself um, and it's it's out several hours and one thing you need to check first off is this little sight window right here okay there are some gears back there that are supposed to be moving okay mine are moving all right they will get jammed up there's a bunch of grease in there and you can see all these gears here that have grease they get jammed up. So these gears are supposed to be traveling clockwise, okay? And if they're not, what you need to do is take something that is non-metallic, okay? And stick it in there and try to turn it clockwise. Now, I would advise you to leave the power on, but also understand that there is risk here because there is power right here in this section, okay? So you could electrocute yourself um, if you go taking like a metal screwdriver and jabbing it around down here. So use something that's non-metallic like a pencil and with it on because you need the assistance of the motor You need the motor trying to turn those gears And you're just going to assist it by turning these gears down to break them free Okay, because they do get jammed up and it's usually uh, You know, it's it's a, a large piece of grease or something that that's blocking it Now if you, you can't get it unstuck with something like this that is that is non-metal then go ahead and try something more evasive which would be a metal screwdriver but again be careful because there's electricity in here if you cannot get these gears working and they don't move then there's a good chance that this this unit has burnt out okay they're real easy to replace you can buy these online you just cut the power to this you you unhook you know the ground and the positive and negative neutral wires the lead the load bearing wires and then just just pop a new one in uh, it's a pretty simple job but uh, mine does get jammed up quite a bit and something I want to note here now that I'm editing this, the gears move at all times, whether the pool pump is on or not. Uh, they're the ones that uh, keep the time accurate once you set it, so they should be moving at all times. That's all you need. So the first thing you check is look in there and see if those gears are moving. And if they're not moving, then you know. And take these steps and you should be able to fix your pool. Once you get the gears moving back again, just set the time. Uh, by pulling out on this and turning it so we're here early in the morning it's about 9 30 here so that's 9 30 so once it passed this switch here it would have turned it on so I'm gonna turn it on so it'll be in its normal position when it gets to this switch it'll go off and we're good to go because the gears are moving again anyway hope this has been helpful um, Hit that like and subscribe button. Comment below if you have anything additional to add to this video. Take care and goodbye.